Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast, bringing you free resources to relax, recall, and succeed in pharmacology. You can find the link to this free nursing pharmacology book and others at memorizingpharm.com. Three point twenty miscellaneous antibacterials, glycopeptides. Vancomycin is a glycopeptide commonly used to treat MRSA. Indications. Vancomycin is a popular glycopeptide that is active against gram-positive bacteria. Vancomycin is commonly used to treat serious or severe infections when other antibiotics are ineffective or contraindicated, including those caused by MRSA. Mechanism of action. Glycopeptides are a class of medications that inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis. Special administration considerations. It is poorly absorbed from the GI tract, so it must be given by IV to treat a systemic infection. Oral vancomycin, on the other hand, is used to treat antibiotic-associated C. diff. Vancomycin poses a significant risk to kidney function and hearing. Therefore, patients' trough levels must be monitored carefully for effective IV dosing to avoid complications. Patients receiving IV vancomycin may also experience a complication known as red man syndrome, in which they experience a flushing of the skin and reddish rash on the upper body when the infusion is administered too rapidly. Patient teaching slash education. Patients should be counseled to take medication as directed from the full course of antibacterial therapy. They should monitor for side effects such as hypersensitivity, tinnitus, hearing loss, and vertigo. Patients should promptly follow up with their healthcare provider if no improvement in symptoms is identified. Now let's take a closer look at the medication grid on vancomycin in Table 3.20. Table 3.20 Vancomycin Medication Grid. The first column is titled Class Class Subclass and it has miscellaneous antibacterials, glycopeptides. The second column is titled Prototype Slash Generic and it has vancomycin. The third column is titled Administration Considerations and it has check for allergies, root, IV, but by mouth for C. diff, obtain culture prior to administrative first dose, dosage adjustment is required for renal impairment, monitor trough levels, IV should be administered in a dilution, so over a period of 60 minutes or more to avoid rapid infusion-related reactions. The fourth column is titled therapeutic effects, and it has monitor for systemic signs of infections like white blood cell counts and fever, monitor actual site of infection for improvement, and monitor and report trough levels for targeted dosing. The last column is titled side slash adverse effects and has nephrotoxicity, autotoxicity, C. diff can occur up to two months after therapy ends, red man syndrome can occur if drug is infused too rapidly, signs and symptoms include maculopapular rash on face, neck, trunk, and limbs, and pruritus and hypotension caused by histamine release. Stop infusion and contact provider. Prepare to administer diphenhydramine 50 mg IV or by mouth. Monitor BP closely. IV fluids and or vasopressors may be required if hypotensive. Infusion may be restarted at a slower rate after rash and itching resolve. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your pharmacology suffixes cheat sheet, find drug pronunciations, and other free resources to relax, recall, and succeed in pharmacology class. Thanks again for listening. Music was by Policy.